Cavazos, and this is Castlevania Season 3, Episode 3. So in the last episode, Alucard found some students. Um, yeah. Vampire hunters, at least that's their aspirations. They used to work for Cho, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, from Japan. Mm -hmm. Sumi and Taka. Yeah. So I anticipate that we're going to learn a lot there. It kind of gives Alucard some meaning and purpose. You know, he was just mm -hmm. in this empty castle, like, making puppets of Cypher and Trevor. So it gives him some purpose there. I do feel like he will meet back up with our guys, though, at some point in time. So we did meet Sanjermon a few episodes back. We're still not 100% sure on his intentions. Uh, he's trying to him. get in with the, you know, Trevor. The defectors of the church, too. And the defectors, too. It's like, it's just, he's not 100% clear. Like, I don't think he's necessarily, like, a bad dude, but he's probably, like, you know, cares about his own personal growth, yeah. if that makes sense. We also have Isaac with a ship now. I feel like he's going to develop some sort of relationship with, like, uh, the captain mm -hmm. of that ship. It just kind of seemed like he was kind of open to it. Yeah. You know, he's like, oh, I'm, I don't have anything else to do type of thing. And then it seems as though Carmilla is going to sign her sister to, like, I guess, convince Hector mm -hmm. to make more creatures, which I hope Hector doesn't end up doing, but I feel like he won't do it because out of force, but if like the other sister kind of butters him up and kind of coerces mm -hmm. him into doing it, then I feel like he will again. All right, well, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our Patreon if you want to watch our full length reactions. We also do have a second channel called Dos Cavazos IRL where we do vlogs and other non-reaction content. And if you want to check that out, the link's down below. All right, let's jump into this episode. So, what's next? Flying goats. Now that was... Disturbing. Yes, <laughs> disturbing. She was excited about it. The ship was on fire. <laughs> yes. What the fuck kind of creature are they killing? Flying goats that freaking shit fire? <laughs> like, what are they killing out there? You weren't that disturbing, were you? Aww. See? So we should get in the wagon and roll on out of here. <laughs> she just roll wants to do stuff. We roll out and hit the road and fight nasty hovering death goats that open their flaming bowels upon the instant. Lindenfeld is starting to give me the creep. Do you think they Their houses are weird. Worship Dracula. Would you both please accompany me? <laughs> For tea. <laughs> wow. The architecture. Right. Who exactly are you? A magician of the speakers. This is Trevor Belmont. They apparently love Dracula and well, we we killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Oh, you're a speaker magician. She <laughs> just said that. The last Belmont. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like Lindenfeld. that's what you. <laughs> what do you want? Lindenfeld was hit by a pack of night creatures. Ew! Ew! Oh my uh... Gosh! Oh, whoa, who's this big one? What is this? It has like mushrooms. <laughs> it's like, oh, I go to raves. <laughs> Do they like form packs and like. Because they're just like kind of. They're just out things. there, yeah. These creatures all kind of look the same, where the other ones kind of always look a little different, you know? Yeah. And then, it was quiet for so long. What? I mean, you heard the scream when he broke through. Oh my gosh, is he turning people? <gasps> talking to them. Talks? What's this gas? Some of them have talked, remember? Yeah, she's giving them psychedelics. <laughs> like, Ray! <"Rave." laughs> What's gonna come out of there? What's going on? You have to think that he's turning them into like creatures, right? How could a like, creature do it? How does what those mushrooms? You like eat this mushroom off of me? <laughs> <laughs> a while later, the monks came out, blackened pieces of the creature. They couldn't stop crying. Not once. What? They just looked broken. I'm so confused. Speak a word. Next day, it began. It's been happening every few days ever since. I need to know what happened. I need to know okay. why the priory in my town is attracting damaged, frightening people. It's so weird. Mm -hmm. Let's put this key on this plate. I know. Why is it on a plate? Is it lunch? It's <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 all right. I believe you will help me because these are dangerous times. You 
have the advantage of anonymity. <laughs> so, can we please get involved? I'm not looking at you, so far. You like looking at me. <laughs> to, because if you do, you'll crack like an egg. Do you like sweating? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. He's whipped. Yeah. <laughs> so the people that were in the church were those the people who ended up defecting and then like maybe. started like From whatever happened Dracula? In, the, in the church maybe though I'm not 100% mm -hmm. sure <laughs> you have to share the boat with these demons it reminds me of, it's like a scene out of pirates yeah I've been hit by people it's not the same thing at all so why did you stop I have some lime water I don't know I cannot find myself Tell me the story, Isaac. The night is long and sailors like stories. <laughs> I was a member of Dracula's court. Dracula? He's like, I'm gonna know the glass for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> so working for Dracula was like suicide the long way around. <laughs> Perhaps. Interesting way to put I, it. I knew you wouldn't be boring. I cannot, however, fail to note that I am still here. And you're not in the mm -hmm. What happened? Dracula threw me to the desert through a magic mirror to save my life. That don't sound like someone who wants to kill all the people of the earth. He was dealing with stuff. Confused. <laughs> and now you're sailing back to Europe to find Dracula? I believe he's dead. I have other reasons to return. Magic mirror. It showed me that the other human in the court is being kept prisoner by one of the vampires who schemed against Dracula. That's a nice gift, though. The man who <laughs> gave it me said, I can take demons from hell and install them in dead bodies on earth. That's quite a trick. It is a skill. That's quite a trick. Many. Vampires cannot do it. It requires a human connection. Why? Vampires <laughs> can't learn magic. Not this magic. Hell is populated by humans who went against the will of God. Through my hand, God lifts the damned from hell in his mercy to enact their penance on the earth as my soldiers. That's I feel like reading between the lines there a little too much. <laughs> That's new to me. <laughs> <laughs> Now you sail to Europe to exact revenge on the people who betrayed your Dracula. And then what? What? Well, after you've had your blood, what mm -hmm. will you do then? Take up your Dracula's cars and kill all the people in the world? That's what I was thinking. I might. Yeah. Hear me out. Why leave out a dead vampire story when you have your own story to tell? Dracula's story. Mm -hmm. As you put it, is right. The human race is poisonous and corrupt and should be wiped off the world. And yet yesterday, a man gave you a gift and made a mm -hmm. joke. But all you really remember is the poor authority trying to run you and your beast is out of town. Do you hmm. deny our species is cruel? I love this captain. Maybe we do all deserve to die. But maybe we could be better too. If Aww. you kill us, why would a man with all your fantastic knowledge not use it to teach people how to be kind? What? Oh, no, I hope so. You can lead Isaac, just like you lead your beasties hmm. up there. What does he think? You're gonna like flip your script, Isaac? That'd be crazy. I mean, I kind of feel like that's the way it's going. Water. With lime. Or would you want some brandy this time? <laughs> <laughs> the Ford Master. My gift, given freely. <laughs> Aw, come on, Isaac. See the good in humanity. Well, I mean, he's still gonna like make his own world, but like, it's it's an interesting turn for his character because you really, I thought he was just gonna be, you know, Dracula's right hand man, and he might actually end up becoming the person. All right, okay, now we're going to Hector. It's Carmilla's sister. She gonna try and woo him? <laughs> that guard. This <laughs> is like a picnic basket. I guess. Like, I know we've been, like, you know, torturing you, tormenting you, giving you rotten food, but 
I'm here to be nice. She's the good cop. <laughs> <laughs> I also need you to leave before I decide to kill you for keeping our guest in such a manner. <laughs> She's playing the good cop. Run. <laughs> I mean, go. <laughs> You're probably gonna die. What? Can I have clothes? Telling the guard off for doing his job. So that I'll think you're sympathetic. Mm -hmm. So that I'll like you. You're smart enough? You like to play with your food. Carmilla does, certainly. Striga just kills her food. Rana tortures hers for information on where I hope the they have a thing. food is. Who are they? Carmilla is Queen of Styria, but we rule as a quartet. Morana is the organizer. Striga is the warrior. And you? The diplomat. I'm Lenore. It's a pleasure to meet you, Hector. If you three do all that, then what does Carmilla contribute? She's the spark. <laughs> we see the present. She draws down the future. We're the body and she is the dream. She's the nightmare. <laughs> Would you like something to eat? No. Is it rotten? I like my rotten meat with maggots. <laughs> it's soft. Ew. Hmm. Is she half? Would you like one? I forgot if vampires in this world can like eat. Mm -hmm. It changes in every vampire story. All the lore, yeah. Yeah, like what they can and can't do. I seem to have some. Now give me the cheese. I never think of vampires as eating food. Oh, we eat. It's the blood that gives us our essential nourishment, of course. Oh, It'd be okay. Not to, wouldn't it? Otherwise, well, why live forever if you're not going to live well? But do y'all poop? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question. You're very welcome, Hector. <gasps> oh! Look at Hector. I know I can't kill you, but you call the guard, tell him to unlock this fucking door, or I will rip your fucking throat out. Uh oh. Oh, she turns back. Oh! I mean, there's a reason she's one of the sisters, you know? Yeah. She's probably. Not easily taken out. Oh! Now you lost chances for chicken. Uh, I mean, you're not gonna kill him. Y'all need him. <laughs> oh. Poor Hector. I'm a diplomat, Hector. Carmilla thinks you're a useful idiot at best. I make peace. And because of that, people think I'm weak. You won't make that mistake again, will you? Fetch. Let me see him try it again the next Good time boy. she comes to visit. Well, that didn't go what I thought yeah. it was gonna go. So, Lenore, uh... I kind of like her a little bit. Mm -hmm. Out of all the sisters, I probably would say right now she's my favorite. Just because she has that kind of like, you know, friendly demeanor, but she's also, I mean, obviously she could fight. Yeah, but she still seems like, she keeps talking about her thing as like being a diplomat. Like yeah. she still does like try to, you know, she has a different approach than the other ones. Um, So I feel like she's still gonna try to keep reaching out to Hector. Obviously they need him anyway, mm -hmm. so it's not like they're just gonna kill him or whatever. I wonder when, yeah, I wonder when Hector's gonna take some power out of that and be yeah. like, okay, y'all aren't gonna kill me because y'all need me. Y'all can't accomplish your goals without me, without an army. So I hope that Hector kind of has like a, a not a better story, but a, a more positive note to his story that kind of like pushes him that's out of like this realm of being like pretty much their slave and their person to make like these creatures for them so that they could fight. I want to see him kind of live his own life, but I feel like he's going to end up being here for a while. I kind of brought up in the last episode, I believe, that, you know, if he were to like kind of play into what they wanted in making these creatures, I, if it was me, would want to like, you know, eventually be like, okay, they only serve me. I could mm. turn them on all the vampires at a certain point. I didn't think Hector had it in him, but the little fight that he showed right there, maybe he does. Trevor and Cypher are also in an interesting situation because they they basically are on a mission to figure out what happened with the creature that looked like yeah. he had mushrooms. Yeah, and like glowy um, hair. The rave one. <laughs> the, rave the rave creature rave of the night. Of the night. <laughs> so not really sure about that. Yeah. I'm kind of confused. I, I, I'm interested to see what they find. I was wondering, and I wasn't quite sure if they 
they alluded to this or not is the the defectors of the church that like started like you know idolizing dracula was that the night that that happened i kind of got that vibe but i'm also not 100 percent sure all right well if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay notified for our future videos also head over to our patreon if you want to watch our full-length reactions to this series we upload them over there the link's down in the description below okay we'll see you next time bye everyone <laughs>